My name is Simon Wilson. I'm a senior solicitor at Neil Hudgel Solicitors dealing with blood clot and thrombosis claims. Blood clots often occur after surgery, particularly knee surgery. Um, the, the mechanism of the clot forming is that it usually forms in the lower leg and if not detected early enough it breaks away and travels up through the bloodstream into the lungs. It can then form what's called a pulmonary emboli, um, which, uh, sorry, pulmonary embolus, which um, can ultimately lead to death. If the blood clot is caught early and is still in the leg, then the damage usually is fairly insignificant. Um, a patient may need to be put on blood thinning drugs, but other than that, nothing else really. The problems occur when the clot is not detected and it breaks off and travels into the lungs. That can cause breathing difficulties and uh, unfortunately death if not picked up early enough. It will also mean that the client will be on uh, long-term medication after that. We have a number of years of experience of dealing with this type of claim, but certainly in the last three or four years there have been uh, many more of this type of claim. And we've, we've learned the, the right way to deal with them, the documentation that we require, uh, the interpretation of those notes to ensure that correct drugs are given, for example, that they are given when they should be and for the time they should be. Um, it's important that whoever deals with this type of claim knows what they're looking for in, able to prove the in order to be able to prove the claim. And I think that's something that we're very good at. These types of claim are proved by the medical records, but it's also what current practice is in terms of treatment following surgical procedures, for example. And that usually comes via NICE guidelines, National Institute for Clinical Excellence, which sets down guidelines as to how uh, certain things should be treated, certain conditions should be treated, what medication should be given, what medication regime there should be. So it's important that we're up to date with current guidelines so that we can ensure that we're um, applying the right test for for what treatment should be given really. We've specifically dealt with a lady's claim recently whereby she had a hysterectomy uh, following which she wasn't given uh, anticoagulation therapy, blood thinning drugs um, and unfortunately despite being a fit and healthy lady because of that went home, developed uh, swelling in the calf, thought that was just one of those things really after the operation but unfortunately it developed into a pulmonary embolus in her lung which caused significant difficulties for a prolonged period of time uh, meant that she was uh, laid up at home for a longer period than she should have been, was off work a lot longer. Uh, liability was accepted in that case, um, it was accepted that she should have had medication um, and, and a settlement has ensued. Really because of our specialist knowledge in that field, uh, we have developed that knowledge over the last few years. We know what to look for, we know what records we should receive, we know that the guidelines that are in place at the current time and we know how to, to prove these claims. It's important that these clients uh, are dealt with sensitively. They've been through um, major difficulties because of the, the breathing difficulties they will have had. Some of them have suffered from uh, potentially uh, fatal consequences. So it's important that they're aware that the person dealing with their claim can deal with it not only in a professional manner from the legal perspective but also from a sensitive point of view in respect of what they've gone through. I think it's important for anyone who's had a blood clot following surgery uh, to, to give us a call to discuss matters further. They may think that that's just a complication of the procedure they've had, but often that's not the case. So it's important that they get some proper advice and that they have someone who can interpret the records for them to see if they have a claim. Uh, there's absolutely no obligation to proceed. It's just a question of giving them some advice as to what their rights are at that stage.